Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergzerk Arcade at BergzerkArcade.com and here we are again with another video in our NGUI series. So I'm going to go ahead and open up Unity and go ahead and open up our scripts. Now we're still working on the floating text and today we're going to take a look at changing the font. So I'm going to go ahead and open up our little root here. I'll come all, all the way down and if we look here our font property is right here. So I'm going to go into the driver and first thing I want to do is actually create a place to put a font, but let's find out exactly what this font is being stored as. So we'll head over to Mono Develop. If it'll open. There we go. I had it shrunk down. So I'm going to come down to, I guess, right underneath here. Actually, I want to go above this one, right here. And I want to create a public setter and getter just to figure out what this font is. So we'll make it public. Let's see what we have here. So we have UI, uh, we have a font, and we have a base font. I'm gonna go with the base font. I'm gonna call this method font. And of course we'll have get and set. And the get is just gonna return the font that we have. So we're gonna grab it from our label and let's just grab font yeah we'll just do it like that and then for here we're actually just going to set it so it's going to be lbl dot font equals the value we pass in and let's go ahead and we'll try this out with our driver so i'm going to come down uh we'll go right underneath here and i'm going to debug log And what I want to do is actually see what font I actually have stored in that property, just to make sure it matches with the one that we want to change. So we're going to go with, uh, let me see, we'll have to go ft.font. And this will be getting the font. And does the font have a name? The font does have a name. So we'll go ahead and we'll output the name. So we'll go ahead, we'll save this off. I'm going to start it up. There were no errors. And when I go ahead and click the driver button, I'm getting fantasy font normal, fantasy font. So yeah, that looks like the what we have to access and what we're going to be returning. So great. We should just be able to take this, um, shrink it down, FT font. And actually we better make a public variable up here to store it at. So public, and I believe it was UI font, base font. And I'll just call this font. And then down here we'll go ft font is equal to the font that we have stored up there. Uh, let's make that an equals, not a takeaway. Great, we'll save that off. Uh, we'll have to click on the driver. We're going to have to assign a font here. Uh, well, we're in the sci fi, so I'm actually going to go ahead and just grab a sci fi font. And we'll go ahead and we'll throw it on there. And when we start it up, and we we'll click the driver button. Uh, that looks like a different font to me. Let's quickly go comment that line out. And start it back up. And we'll hit that driver button again. Yeah, it's a different font. And just to make sure, let's actually put a delay in here. Uh, so we'll go yield. Uh, return new, uh, wait for seconds. And we'll wait for two seconds uh, before changing the font. And we're going to have to change this over to an I enumerator. Okay, we'll save that off. We have no error, so I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Now when we click it, we'll get the regular font, and then two seconds later, it switches over to the other font. Great. So we can actually access the font. And while we're here, let's actually see if we can actually change the size of the font. That's something I'll want to do for maybe uh, critical hits and stuff like that. So let's see if we can actually do that while we're in here. And I'm just going to go ahead and say uh, font size. So public. And I don't actually want it here. I like to keep them up here together. 
Uh, so public, and I'm going to use an integer for this. Uh, I'm not sure if actually maybe a float. Well, we'll go with an int for now. I'm going to say font size. And we'll use a get. Uh, return lbl dot I believe it was this font again yes and there should be a size here yes let me just actually take a look here is it I just take a look to make sure it was an int so yes it is a an int great so we can also go in and say set and we're going to say lbl dot font dot size is equal to value and let's go ahead we'll head into our driver and let's try changing that size so we'll say ft dot font size is equal to oh I'm not sure let's go 20 and let's actually debug out what it is to begin with, just so we know what the, the change is. So we'll go debug dot log ft font size. There we go. We'll go ahead and make sure there's no errors. Apparently there's one. Uh cannot be signed. Oh, it is only read only. So if we can't play with its actual size, we might have to play with its scale. So it's at 28. Let's go ahead and adjust the scale, see how that works. So the scale, the local scale is going to be a vector three. And now we're going to be returning instead of the font size. Um, we'll have to go ahead and grab the transform dot local scale. And likewise here. Transform dot local scale. I'll save this off. We'll come over here and we're going to have to do some changes here. Uh, let's make the font 50% bigger than what it is already. So um, let's see. Yeah, we could just actually go ahead and just grab the font size that it is at. This will return a vector 3. And we're just going to go ahead and multiply it by 1.5, which is 150%. And we will need the F in there. And let's go try this out gets rid of all the errors we'll start it up and we'll go ahead we'll hit the button we'll get this font and there we go we get the uh, the next font so the font changes and it's 150 percent bigger and just to make sure you can look down here that the font was um, 28 28 and 1 and if we look at it over here now it's 42 42 and 1 so it worked out great uh, Apparently we can change it dynamically on the fly and that's exactly what we wanted to know. Uh, that's it for this tutorial and I'll go ahead and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.